guest appearance. We should do like an intern watch and just have all the interns <laughs> and it would just be so chaotic. <laughs> We're gonna do that on Tuesday when we get into port. <laughs> oh yeah, just dive in the port with like all the interns. Great. <laughs> Um, we also have the Science Communication Fellowship, is, which is um, what my role oh. is. Do you want to see it? Um, yeah, let's have a look if it's possible. You can see how hard it is to jam on the brakes. Yep. Nestle underneath oh. nice on little bum lava bum. tube, some pillows. All right, well, is this a, is this a place I can... It's a uh, fine spot to sit down. You already sat down. All right, yep. Well, I'm sat. Uh, <laughs> is it the little white... Dealy bobber over there. Yeah, there it is. Down there. I don't know how much of a zoom we'll get on it, but we can try. It's not that doodly it's bopper. It's that doodly hopper. Well, this is it, an intern intern thing going on. <laughs> intern to intern communication. Can Did we get go? a zoom? Cool. In internal communication. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> yes. It's very small. It is very small. It's in and the that's corner. about as far we can pan, yep. huh? <laughs> cool. Bit of a rough landing there. All right, well, can we get a zoom out again? Yep. Little cap corals, solitary corals. Uh, my dad asks, what defines a boulder from a rock? <laughs> Size, I guess. It's like a whole classification system. Yeah, for that, well, isn't the there? rocks, you see, the, the pioneers used to drive the rocks, not the boulders. They used to ride these babies for miles. Yeah, <laughs> so that's like a big difference. All right, Annabelle, next level. I'm going to keep Herc in the center of uh, Atlanta screen. Okay. So then I can go in circles and we'll just put a bunch of wraps in each other? Ideally, yeah. <laughs> okay, awesome. <laughs> great, We're great. We're do some real active atalanting. Great piloting <laughs> moment. Yeah. Uh, oh, there's a hermit crab. Backpack? Where? With a backpack? In yeah, just to the left. The yeah. pass of the cinema cam. On the cinema cam. Oh my gosh, I don't now. see it. Where is it? It's off screen. Did it have a backpack? Yeah. I it okay, to what side? I, I want to look it at it. Behind it's, us down. It's, left it's behind us. It went off to the bottom left. All right. Throw it in reverse. <laughs> Throw beep, it in reverse. Beep, it was boogie in there. Beep. <laughs> reverse. Try not to land on it. Um, you said to the left? Bridge, no? Yeah. It was like cruising along the rocks that same, just came same, into same view. Piece. Oh, there it is. Is that it? Is that the little, little uh, sprinkly yeah, down there? Yeah, that might be it. Okay. Uh, right here. Yeah, yeah, I see it, I see it. Okay. Nice. Uh, Ooh, I got to circle something. That was fun. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Did you use the stylus or your finger? My finger. Oh. Any stylus users back there? Did, did no, we find it after <laughs> Steve lost it? <laughs> no, it's, it's there. Oh, oh my oh. gosh. Ah. Okay. We go this way. And then we're going to go down. And then we're going to overshoot the whole thing. <laughs> I think at the beginning the stylus was misplaced, so okay, everybody okay. learned with their fingers mm. and tried to go back. <laughs> okay. Oh, there he goes. He centered himself oh. up. All right, can we get a zoom? Yes, we can. Moving. If I can nope, get a. Wrong way. Yep. Oh, it's going. It's going, it's going. <laughs> you still see it? Yep. I guess it's easy yep, to see. It's left. moving. All right, we can zoom in. It looks like it has a little thing on its shell, but I don't know if it's, it's one of them. Yeah, they carry a anemone. You got more down. Is it carrying it? That looks like it's just a shell. On its shell. There's the like shell a little... has an anemone. <laughs> that's so small. Oh, that's a great that's shot. So it's, um, oh, yeah, I see it. Hermit crab family Parapaguride. Its shell looks a little disheveled. Yeah, but where did he get this shell? Disheveled. He's got one, <laughs> one claw. Oh, no. That's struggling. Oh, buddy. Large steps. High knees. So why do they carry the anemone? Is it for protection? 
All right, we can zoom yeah. out. Just decoration. It's for protection, but this one is carrying a shell. That just happens to have an anemone on it. Uh, maybe they have settled an anemone on it. They usually carry anemones or sponges. That shell looked old and crusty to me. I'm going to turn down exposure just a little bit, Trevor. It insult sure. its home. <laughs> what? I said don't insult its home. Well, the kid, it could, it, it find, they find new homes. So <laughs> maybe it's looking for a new home and that's why it's walking so fast. Time for an upgrade. That is not yeah. where Atalanta is. But I'm not sure where they get that Whoa. shell down here. That's true. Where did, Paula, where do they get their shells from down here? Interesting. I don't know. Maybe near from a bootfall or... Oh. Or there is some gastropods that we saw, the gas snails. Yeah. So you said something there that was interesting. That's, that's not where Atalanta is. What other tool, you were looking at the RV nav? Yeah. What other tools do you have to figure out where Atalanta is? Uh, Atalanta cam, um, butt cam, sonar, I guess. Cool. Um, if I'm really, really trying. Yeah. I guess feeling on the tether. Yeah, totally. Even Atalanta's utility cam, because you can see the camera angle from that. Yeah. But nice instinct there to look at a nav hit, say that's not real. Um, chat asks, what zone is the ROV in? Zone? Uh, zone uh, four. Pelagic sort of zone, thing, yeah. yeah. The disco okay. zone. We're in the midnight do, 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 do. zone. The last also called the Bassy Pelagic. Weird, event. funny flat thing here. 1,000 to 4,000 meters. Flat thing. Another spongy debris. Oh, and I'm going over here. No, I shouldn't be going over there. I need to be going over here. <laughs> Back over here. What was I doing? <laughs> Had to go look at the weird thing. Chai also wants to know what new biological discoveries we have found on this expedition. Oh, we have um, different tunicates that are potential new species. Also, um, new records of sponges and sea pants. We have also new rec a lot of new records of um, squat lobsters. We have found uh, new records of uh, starfishes, and um, yeah, that was pretty, pretty proactive. And the Boothfall, we found a very rich community of gastropods and amphipods, also squat lobsters, lithodid crabs. I should not be going there, I should be going this way. There were uh, holothurians, oh. no, ophuroids, sorry, and oh, polynoid worms, and some of these animals are adapted to live only in, in good fall chemosynthetic uh, environments, so they are pretty adapted to that, and most of them are going to be new species as well. Cool. That would fall was cool. Oh. I feel like this is where I'm supposed to be going. Yeah. Is this cool. where I'm supposed to be going? Sure. Oh, okay. <laughs> sure. You're generally in front of Atalanta. You're slightly north, but that's fine. All right, Roger. I can start turning this away. Yeah, if you want. I mean, it's fine to be a little bit north. You've seen how I fly. All right. I mean, I've seen how you fly, but you're also good eh. at flying. <laughs> I fake it. <laughs> fake it till you make it. That's yeah. That's your opinion. <laughs> you can do anything you put your mind to. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Uh, question for Trevor, does he or any of the other um, ROV pilots work with the autonomous vehicles? Nope, never have. They're autonomous. Yeah. You build them, you put them in the ocean, you never see them again. Goodbye. <laughs> they, have a, they have a whole community down <laughs> they there. They come back. That's what the Sometimes. city of Atlantis is. It's just all the AUVs down there. That's what the A stands for in AUV yeah. is Ad Atlantis. <laughs> Atlantis operated vehicles. <laughs> Oh, oh, rock. Ooh, so, rock. a question for you. Is your camera centered? I don't know. All right. 
Um, almost, maybe. All right, cool. Maybe. I, I <laughs> How could you find out? Uh, asking for a zoom out. Sure, it's one way. And what does that tell you? It tells me that I can't see the porch and that it's not quite centered. All right. Now it's not centered either. Okay. We're getting corners on that side, so I guess... Nope, that's not how that works. Okay. All right, I can see Magnum, which means it's not centered. There we go. My usual go-to is look down until you can see the porch, get it square, and then do the final move of tipping up. That way, because you know the porch is square to the vehicle. So if you square the camera to the porch, you're square to the vehicle. And I also go a little, like you just did, go a little bit right to get that shroud out of view. Roger. Nice. Okay, now I need to move forward. There's oh. a current pushing directly against us. Perfect. Um, that question before Wait, was no? referring to programming the autonomous vehicles. Yeah, no, I have not. Same, 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 please. There's quite a lot of that that goes on during the ONC or Ocean Networks Canada cruises, though. A <laughs> AUV programming? Well, not AUV, but ooh, gliders, like the gliders that measure oh. seismic activity. I gliders I forgot about those, yeah. Yeah, things that you put into the ocean and then just come circle back and get them later. Right, I forgot about those. Yeah, I did not do anything with those, but I saw people doing them. <laughs> Interesting sort of current pattern here. Shrimp. Yeah, all the rocks hidden behind the other rocks. Is kind yeah. Of funny. Well, you see, like, like they're a little more nuggety behind it. Probably all mm -hmm. of a sudden, it being pushed away from it. Mm -hmm. Does um, Annabelle have a pilotometer for the current? Uh, I mean, you heard it. Is that what you're doing? You're being pushed to the left, or? Um, there's a bit of a current that's pushing uh, down and to the left. Okay, that makes sense. Well, down, like, it's pushing against me into the left. Yeah. Yeah, because you see the, it uh, looks like you get some turbulence built up as the current goes over the top of these. Uh, well, if you look at the DVL, it's really obvious. <laughs> Of course. Is <laughs> <laughs> possible to do a zoom here? Go over there. The video is switching out. Okay. And we're at the end of the leash anyway. Yep. So it's a good time to not zoom. To be prepared for the incoming zoom. Okay, well, I think I have a little more leash, so I'm going to start heading over. Uh, I don't have a lot more, though. <coughs> Dave's back in video. Hi, Dave. Hello. Hello. Oh, D Dave's not here before? <laughs> <laughs> Dave's not here, man. <laughs> All right, where, where? Oh, okay, I see it, thank you. Roger that. I think I see a spot on that. I'm gonna try and pull up to it, but I feel like I'm gonna give it's it so a nice little bonk. Something. I don't know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Can you be an ROV pilot if you're colorblind? Yes. Yeah. Oh. Shrimp. Cinema cam. Oh, shrimp. Okay, what if I just lateral over there? That sounds like a great idea. We have another cap curl in the bottom of the Please rack. Please forget the lateral. And we have a big Uroptychus. Oh, there's a rock there. OK. <laughs> uh, wow. May oh. I take a photo of you? Uh, <laughs> you can say no. I don't <laughs> Just really to send to you, you for, for your... I can do it on your phone if you'd rather. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> That's up to you. I'm really trying to focus on yeah, this. Yeah, do it. Do what you gotta do. If you want it later, let me know. Gotcha. Oh, I'm not even going on the lateral. I'm like, why? 
come on. Am I landed? Is that my issue? No, nope, I'm not. I'm not. Have a nice view of the Cup Curl in the Cinema Camp. Probably a cardiophilia. Is it that little thing at the bottom of the rock? Yeah, it is. You tilt this way, maybe? Oop. Oh, okay. A little more. Turn forward a bit. Down a bit. All right, I'm ready for zoom. It's a, it's a squat. Nice. Nice shot. It's, um, nice squat. Big squat in the Chrysogoria. And a small, tiny other cup coral. Oh, yeah. Thank you very and, much for the zoom. It's pretty. And the rock. Oh. Uh, zoom out then. So the hardest zooms are on flat ground, which is exactly what we have here. So the farthest away from the camera. You get a cliff wall or like a 45 degree slope, you can get a lot closer with the camera, which makes you a lot more stable. So you're doing hard mode right off the start. All right. I feel like there's less dangerous stuff for me to run into, like. Yeah, it's a good training spot. I'm not like decapitating sponges and corals or <laughs> slamming into cliffs. So I consider that a win. Yeah. It's auto sampling. <laughs> Aggressive sampling. Yeah. I'm sort of trying to follow the like track line of Atalanta's uh, USBL. Yeah, perfect. That's, Is that a good sort of? It's a great sort okay. of. Yeah. Oh, hi, Cassie. Well, it's my sister-in-law asking, what's the coolest thing you found on this expedition so far? Trevor. Woodfall. Trevor. <laughs> Trevor. Trevor. <laughs> Hey, you found me. <laughs> I guess that's the end of that high game of hide and seek. Uh, the woodfall is the coolest, but my favorite was the Chana Cops. Where are the fish? Where are the fish? No vertebrates today. Another uh, hot tip for zooms, Annabelle, mm -hmm. is if you try to zoom in while you're floating midwater and have it stationary, you're, there's no way. You're not going to go a little bit left, a little bit right. So if you incorporate a movement, you can adjust that movement throughout the spin or the vertical or whatever, and then it looks like you did it on purpose. Okay. If you have a movement already and you adjust it to be a slightly different speed movement, then it's you get away with it a lot more than going left, right, left, right. But so is that what you're doing with, like, the... Oh my gosh, get out of here, Coral. I don't want to hurt you. So like exactly what you did there. You kept it centered, you spun around it, and you can adjust how much you're spinning around it as you go, and that all looks okay. Okay, roger. So it's not just that it's for cinematic effect or style points, it's because it's actually easier to make it look okay. Okay. Peel back around here. The other thing is, uh, if conditions are right, then uh, instead of calling for a zoom, same, same, walk same. in as close as you can Thanks. to the uh, to the thing while staying wide, and then and then call for a zoom, and then okay. and then I'll kind of like follow on to your motion and uh, and zoom on in. And still have an altitude issues here. Yeah, <laughs> that's well, crazy. Well, yeah, what happened to that stock? That looks snipped. Really decapitated. Yeah. That's like the bottom of the sponge we flipped earlier. <laughs> <laughs> is that sponge one. debris? Is that is that its head over there? Yeah, that might be its head over there. Dave, you familiar with the term dolly zoom? Yeah. I've been doing that on a couple of cruises ago with some I can't remember who I was working with, but like start way far away, zoomed in and zoom out as you come in and it just changes the background is so much right. fun. It, uh, but you got to move at the exact same rate the person is zooming. Yeah. So coordinated it was yep. 
I think we got like three out of 12. <laughs> it was so much fun. Yeah. Yeah, it keeps the uh, it keeps the main uh, thing in focus, but then changes all the background. And yeah, changes exactly. Your, changes your depth of field. Depends on how uh, wide open the lens is, mm -hmm. uh, that kind of stuff. It's probably super hard for a video engineer to do the three things all at once. You're going to be changing your iris. You're going to be changing your focus and yeah. zoom all at once. Yeah, I've done it. It's uh, it's it's really cool when it happens. But you're right. It takes a few uh, it takes a few tries. Yeah. I can't remember who that was. They were really key on trying it. And I was like, yes, let's absolutely try that. Who was that? When, where was that? I don't remember. <laughs> I do, do a similar we, thing. We want to try and zoom on the little fluffy boy, like right right where my lasers are here. Oh, good here? catch, yeah. Sure. I can get up to it. <laughs> do a similar thing when we launch uh, and following Herc over the rail. Oh, yeah. Where you try and match the speed of the crane. Yes, with the... And Herc, and, and then Herc, it looks like Herc stays stationary and the rest of the ship all moves away. Yeah, totally. <laughs> I have noticed you do that. That's good. Nope. Good touch. It's my yeah, challenge. That's not it. Get the lateral in a little bit more. I don't know that anybody else really does that. Ed may do that. We should get that rock. You want to get a rock? You want that rock? Squad. Coral rock squat? Three by one. Yeah, but isn't it too Do we big? have the room for that? Um, we could try to fit it in an F. Do you want us to? Which rock are you talking Paula about? Paula wants it. Because okay. has, I want the this one all, the th all thin. What Paula oh, wants. Everything. I don't think we could fit that rock. It's huge. Oh. Yeah, no. oh. She'll go. Let's try. Let's try. Where are we, we going to put it? A little bit of a challenge. You know, in your land, it'll take. Worth a try. Craft on bubble on craft on Roger. bubble on craft. I feel like I'm landed, but I feel like I'm like sitting on top of some rocks. So the eagle has landed. Wait, the crow has landed. Cook off. <laughs> right. the, the two um, crows in the trench coat. T tuck it under Magna's arm or something, like a football. <laughs> yeah, just have Magnum oh, hold it. Can you uh, tilt it's down, please? Than I it was. Roger. Come on. There we go. Do you want to zoom before Whoa. I grab it? Yes. yes, please. All right. That rock looks, <laughs> why did that rock look so much bigger before? It's pretty big. Go ahead, Dave. Uh, it's about 15 centimeters. Oh, lobster's plus. getting feisty. Lobster knows something's up. A little suspicious. Oh, <laughs> making big, scary lobster movements. Hey, Get those big uh, claws out. My claw is bigger. Lobster says, I can hurt you with my claw. Ooh. All right, come wide, please. I'm just going to go straight good. over there so we don't lose the lobster. Lobster. Rock step. Sample tray out. Uh, rock lobster. Uh, yeah, sample tray out. This will be our last sample in the starboard bio box? Yep. Great. Really a doozy. Or should I wait till you get over here? Oh, it doesn't matter. Okay. It's wait. coming out. What do you, do you think want sample Savo? What do you think doozy means, Annabelle? That's a whopper, you know? Like, oh, that's a doozy. Isn't a doozy mean it's, it's it was not good, it was bad? Not necessarily. No, no doozy means good. Or, really? or bad. It, it could be too. either. I feel like it's a neutral term. It's, yeah. It's a term from the 1920s, and it refers to the Duesenberg automobile. Uh-oh. OK, it's outstanding um. or unique of its <laughs> kind. Some rotational. In it goes. We just grab the box at the same time. Oh goodness gracious! <laughs> How uh -oh. about that? <laughs> Stop. Okay, maybe I do want sample salvo. Can't see nothing. All right, there you go. Thank you. Can you watch Atlanta for me? Yeah, I'm gonna come up on Delta a bit. And sure. Whatnot. Did we? Do we still have the squat? Oh, that's the uh, scoop. We'll I don't see. want that. There's no way to know. Yeah, he's there. It's hanging moving. on for dear life. We got the scoop in there too, eh? Neat. Yeah. Well, the coral is disconnected, but it is there. So Perfect. we Ready can close, close the box. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. There it goes. <laughs> oh, All right, there we go. Lobster hung on. Wow. We can never open this again. That was a great job. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And a great sample. 
<laughs> Watch it be the best rock we cut open. Yeah. It's full Love of gold. To Love to rock. I'm going with uh, RV cam salvo. Roger. And uh, let's just add a myself. Is that 213? Yes, uh, yes, that was 213. Thank you. And porch. Whoopsie daisies. Chad wants to know how many squatties have been collected this trip. Uh, 20. 20 squatties. That was the 20th? Uh, that would be the 21st. Cool. If it Oop, made it. That's not how that goes. Go this way. A little bit this way. Not that way, that way. There we go. Oh yeah, we're heavier now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you might have to adjust your dead bias. I don't know, I kind of like it. <laughs> well, we have pilot preference. a little bit heavy. Uh, Whatever you want. All right, here we go. Chat says, is Anna, has Annabelle had any experience with ROVs before this expedition? If this is her first time, I must say she's a fast learner, totally natural. Also, great job, Trevor, for teaching her. Yeah, great job, Trevor. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> no, for real. <laughs> but, yeah, Annabelle, have you turn. had any experience with ROVs before this? Um, I made a little one out of PVC once. Um... <laughs> And I was a data logger for Jason on an Ocean Observatories cruise, um, but I've I've never actually like been in the pilot seat before. No. What was your favorite part of the expedition? Your favorite experience, Annabelle? Of Nautilus? Yes. Uh, like like everything. Um. I think even just like being able to work on the ROV is a very rewarding thing. Like, I mean, in and out of the water. I've learned a lot. That's, that's maybe that's my favorite part is that like, yeah, there's been so many opportunities to learn and it's been really great. And you could sum it up nicely in your outro in about an hour. Wow. I think that I was it. I have not been thinking about that. Yeah. <laughs> I think that was the outro right there. Nope. Annabelle, Annabelle's out. See ya. Cut. <laughs> print it. I will make her do it again. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Are we going the right direction here? Is it, ooh, is this okay? We, I don't know. Are you happy on ROV nav? I'm looking at ROV same, nav. Same, same I feel like we're going in the right direction. Then that's all you can ask for. Okay. I feel like, you know, I don't know where point B is, so I'm <laughs> just going. Sure, but I would I would take a good bet that the gray line and the blue line are pointing toward B. Yep, that's 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 sort of my guess also. Yeah, um, and the only reason to be in front is it gives you the maximum amount of stopping time. Yeah. You could like when we're on a so on a side hilling along a wall, I'll generally stay right beside right. Atlanta. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so you get less sampling time, but less cliff interference so it's kind of a balance I but think I need the time not necessarily exactly. for sampling but just for like yeah existing just <laughs> existing <laughs> yeah getting yourself out <laughs> like of situations trying to figure it out yeah 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 if at the end of your leash is considered 100% in front you want to generally live around the 75% out in front range which is Gives like you most here? mobility yeah it looks great okay great mobility to do spins and rotates and whatever ups and downs but lots of time in the bank for sampling, zooms, other kinds of stopping, whatever. You know what's weird is like, if I'm like trying to avoid a coral or like go around something, it's like, oh, perfect Tokyo drift, like <laughs> keeping it right in the lasers the whole time. But the minute that I try to do a zoom. Yep. I'm still better at zooming when I don't zoom or when I don't <laughs> try to zoom. As soon as I like, oh, I'm gonna focus on this animal. I do all these crazy inputs and get all bouncy. Well, I couldn't tell. Your zooming looks very good. Thanks. His tracks of small nuggets behind larger rocks it's are like pretty a interesting. Little, yeah. A little the, spongy bungee. The, like the stripes that they're creating is interesting. Yeah, I think what happens is the current's coming from right to left, and there's a little bit of a lee right behind the rock. And that's where the sediment's collecting. But then you have turbulence created by the rock 
mixing up the sediment behind it and keeping the uh, rock sediment free. The rock is moving, and that's its rock <laughs> trail, and it's like leaving behind rocky debris. Oh, like a comet. Yeah. What is that? What is it's a comet. Yeah, this a comet's like a space thing. rock. Yeah, like that <laughs> thing. What's that? Vestum. All right, uh, I'm going to approach the thing. We'll see. With caution. You know, you don't know it could bite. Okay, coming in for a landing. Um, should I get a little closer? Or is, this seems okay. That's great, but you could tilt the camera down. Okay. Urch. Down we go. I lost sight of the thing. What All right. Do we have? Ready for the zoom. Them. Oh, oh yeah. We've, there's been a, a handful of those things. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That Stephanie and I were seeing. Like it looks like a piece of coral or something. Yeah. What is it? Maybe it's spongy. I can't remember what it was. I mean, I've I've seen these before. And usually they're a lot smaller that I see. I'm like, this is the biggest one I've seen. But it's been like throughout our whole expedition. They've just been. And it looks like it's covered in sand. Nope. Oh. The pan you can is really see those uh, those rock trail things in Atalanta Cam. Oh yeah. Mm. All right. Um, can you zoom out, please. There we go. Pick it up a little bit. Away we go. Uh. Some kind of floaty in that on top. Get out of my head. No, <laughs> never. a sea of nuggets. Oh, what are you? Wait, 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 wait on the brakes. What are you? Anemone? Big ol' anemone? What do they call them? Not big ol'. What's the, what's it called? Maybe again? Giant uh, anemone? Relicantus? Yep. Is it the purple one? Okay, I'm coming yep. in for a landing. I want to get a zoom on that. You might already be landed. Yeah, but I gotta lock the stick. <laughs> That's true. We... All right. The Can we purple zoom? one is called a serious Theriantharia. Whoa. Voice cracking. Whoa. Do you know how to <laughs> spell Going that? puberty. <laughs> <laughs> how do you spell it's that? C-E-R-I-A-N-T-H-A-R-I-A. Theriantharia? Theriantharia. Those okay, no, cool. are not anemones. Are evolutionary related with other corals. Cool. Can we zoom out? Thank you. Wait. Chad said something about that thing that we just saw. Let me. Oh, I want to know about the thing. Oh, what that's it? what it is. Yeah. Chat yeah. fact. Chat fact. Hold on. I like to Google the chat facts. That's smart. Chat fact fact check. Trust but verify. I, ch I trust you, chat. I'm just verifying. Oh, that's not where Atalanta is. So, either. okay. Yeah, this looks verified to me. Um, so they said, yeah, xenophyophores are pretty there we go. ubiquitous on the sea mounds. And yes, they make their tests out of sediment. So it's not just covered in sand. It is the sand. It is the sand. Great chat fact. We are all the sand today. We are all the sand. Um, Willem 
in the Netherlands. Hello, Willem. Asks, what presents did Herc get for his 1,000th dive? An oh, oil, an oil bath like C-3PO? <laughs> Fresh did, oil. And did you all party after the event? And an HPU. Hercules <laughs> got a beautiful, it was a watercolor painting, is that right? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Hercules got a beautiful piece of artwork from someone in this van right yeah. now. I drew I drew a little party um, ROV for him, and then a we sent it RV down. Party. And he only had to work a half day. Yeah, he got, yeah. Off, got off early. The boss uh, wanted to call it a day, so the boss was tired. The boss was tired. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I think I'm starting to get a hang of keeping the line, knock on wood. Nice. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, it's been pretty straight for a while now, even yeah. when Atalanta wandered off. <laughs> Are the... <laughs> Funny, isn't it? The, um... Yeah. Sarian yeah, I wonder Theria. what happened there. Bleach? No. <laughs> Trevor's on the sticks. <laughs> Are the Syrian Theria the, the, an enemy we just saw? Are they only in sediment, or can they be on rocks? Same, same. They can piece. be on rocks. Okay. We've seen it on Thank rock. You. This is the third one that we've seen on our watches anyway. Yeah, I remember um, seeing them. I put them in my um, album that we're putting on the website, but what's that? It, oh, I didn't get to ID it, so I got to write that ID in now. Mm. You got a shrimp? A I shrimp? Think? Yeah, you see it? Shrimp. I don't see the shrimp. Is it a professional shrimp? Oh, I see the shrimp. Uh, one no? second. Let me, let me get over there. Let me get up in the shrimp. If it's not professional, I'm not interested. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Maranke, they saw one, like, so much larger than the one that we saw the other day. Can we get a Ooh, zoom on, on the, the shrimp? Last night. Shrimp. But it wasn't like the, it didn't look like the buff shrimp. It didn't look the same. That's not a professional shrimp at all. Amateur what is that? Shrimp. Is that even a shrimp? It's a wee shrimp. It's a little shrimp, yeah. Redundant. There we go. Yeah, it's another it's nematocar sinus. It's a redundant shrimp. All right, uh, we can zoom out. Redundant? Yeah. Shrimpy shrimp. Uh, uh, <laughs> oh, redundant shrimp. Okay. Uh, as, a, as opposed to an ironical shrimp. <laughs> Those are jumbo shrimp. That one's just a shrimp. Uh. <laughs> I wonder what goes through their heads as they're just sitting there. No thought. What is that huge bright thing? That is what true peace must feel like. <laughs> no, you're probably right. Until they start panicking and swimming away. Maybe they only have those two modes. Sheer peace panic and or peace. utter bliss. What a way to exist. <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't mind. I'd, I'd love being, I mean, everything eats them, but I'd love what being is that? What is that there? I'm stopping for everything. What's going on? <laughs> what is it? What is what? The thing right under the lasers? Sediment. Oh. Rocks, nuggets, There's a little, little nuggets. critter or something. I don't know. Well, I'm moving on. I. Oh, it was like a coral. Well, we still have three slurps and plenty of space in the forward bio box for biology. If anybody sees if we anything see any. they're interested <laughs> in, yeah. <laughs> slurp the shrimp. Shrimp yeah. slurp. Shrimp slurp. Shrimp slurp. <laughs> oh, we got <laughs> shrimp slurp. <laughs> we we got more chat facts about the Xenophyo fours. Their tests are also made from a lot of their poop. Cool. But interestingly, <laughs> <laughs> but interestingly enough, they often contain a lot of crystals of barite in them, and they have been shown to also accumulate heavier elements and metals. We got some little crittery things here. Little, little crittery things. What's... Crittery. I, There's a what? few of them. Yeah, like little mini igloo thingies. The white things. Yeah. And that one is gone forever so from my view. What about is this Is it one? possible to zoom on them? Yeah. It's, you talk about that little thing there? Yeah, the little, little thingy. Yeah. And a ramp. Bonk. Okay. <laughs> uh, can we zoom on on that thing? I, I think it's another one of the the sand poop Sand things. poop thing. With barite. Oh, yeah, they sure are. Sand poop thing. Okay, can we zoom out? Lutherite? What? 
Barite. Barite? B A R I T E. Is there any more? Bar Barite's a mineral. Yep. What it, so, why do they have minerals in them? Well, it's dissolved in the water column. They can probably somehow uh, bring it out. They're unicellular organisms. I, I don't understand. Do well, interestingly animals? enough, it's often the barium sulfate that causes much of the attenuation in the water column of the uh, sonar. It's funny when you Google um, Xenophyophore array, uh, there's a picture of, that's part of an article of like a woman just like looking up into the distance with her pen on her chin, like wondering what they are. And the title <laughs> is, what is a Xenophyophore? <laughs> It's a sand poop crystal creature. Monster. <laughs> Monster. <laughs> Monster, yeah. <laughs> What's the Wait for our rockster. Is that a sponge? Yeah, do we want to zoom on the sponge? Did a previous watch see a dead squat? Yes, they saw him and that made it up his no. Yeah. Um, how long do squats live for? Up to four, four or five years. Oh. Can we get a zoomy on the spongy? Can you get a pet squat lobster? Yeah. If you have like a saltwater aquarium. Do you have a no big tank? This a semperella? It's got to be about 2,000 meters deep though. <laughs> <laughs> well, you, you could have a shallow water squat. There are shallow water species and intertidal species as well. Hey, Paula, if you could have one species, um, technology a for a deep sea tank, like, is not, uh, you know, you could, you, you know, Great. that's not Thanks. something to consider. All what right, species well, would you have as a pet? What's that? Jelly crab. Unless anyone's attached oh. to this sponge, I don't know. Well, we had to simulate how is the temperature of the oh, yeah. hydrothermal vent, like, 300? Yeah. 200 degrees? <laughs> in, in, you know, in the fantasy world, that's not a problem. Hmm. In the world of asking questions to keep uh, the world entertained as we traverse through this nugget <laughs> lake. It would be so cool for an aquarium to have a vent exhibit. Like, if we were able to recreate that environment, pressurized Temperature. enough chemicals <laughs> and the heat, that'd be very cool. But where would all the minerals go? Would it just cycle through? Yeah. And, like, just be like a loop of, like, the minerals shooting out and then kind of, like, getting cycled back under and shooting out? Yeah. yeah. It doesn't have to be the actual vent, but just keeping vent species alive. Oh, yeah. Okay. It's a real that would be cool rock. too. Though. Looks like a car. Do we know how they knew it was a dead squat and not yeah. a discarded <laughs> shell? Uh, Maybe it was funny sheep. Up. It could be a discard do, mold. Do they mold? Yeah. Cargo. They grow and mold <laughs> during the whole during their whole life. Wait a minute. Waiting. Okay. <laughs> Is that um, that? Someone asked in the chat, uh, how long do Chanakops live? And I'm Googling it. But then there's a question that like, you know how Google will say like, people have also asked. There's a question that says, what is the superpower of the coffin fish, which is like another name for Chanakops. So they have superpowers. What? And their superpower is they could hold their breath for up to four minutes. Hold their breath? <laughs> They're fish. <laughs> <laughs> Can we zoom in on this little, little thing here? Oh, that one? 
Yeah, World I don't know what that is, but it's it's a no, something. It's, it's cute. It's a something. A little star, maybe? Yeah, it looks like a little slime. Did you say a Chonicops can hold its breath? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to breathe below the surface, most fish gulp down water, sending oxygen circulating throughout their body via blood vessels found right, in the animal's um, gill chambers. Something that exists. Let me click on it to read more. I'm assuming they mean, like, they don't have to gulp or swim for four minutes. Oh, okay. Once a fish has sufficient, sufficiently re replenished its oxygen levels, it exhales, in quotes, the now oxygen depleted water out of its gill slits and expels carbon dioxide waste at the same time. Um, fish are capable of, uh, this says a study published by the Journal of Fish Biology reports, scientists have now identified that fish are capable of holding, in quotes, its breath. In other words, holding water within the body for an extended period of time before exhaling for up to four minutes. Bridge, no? Same thing, please. Is now the time to do a reset? Uh, no, and I'll tell you why. Because we just started moving? Because you're landed. You have four beams right now, but now it's three, four, three, four. You want to have a good solid four beams for a reset. Roger. So if you come up and hover, or put on all three autos for a moment. Uh, three left most buttons, yeah. And you can sit there for a moment. Elias can get some pings. And then before sending the reset, Elias will be like, are you ready? And to be ready, you need to take it out of auto XY. So you leave okay. it in there until the last second, until he says, are you ready? And then you can turn it off and say yes. Roger. Were you around, I, were you part of the conversation of yes or now, whatever, about how, what would happen if you did not come out of auto XY? Uh, yeah, wouldn't it move her because it thought it was yeah. supposed to be somewhere that it wasn't? Exactly, yeah. Hello, float. Maybe I'll come up on Delta. Bonk. Ooh. Who's flying this thing? I'm a terrible uh, you ready? <laughs> yeah, now I'm ready. Yeah, you good to go? Roger, thank you. Of course. So at the top of the hour, is there any interest in a uh, sediment? Push core? Yeah. Sure. And um. it could include a, a nugget. Someone's okay. tried about 47 different push cords. Yeah. Right there. <laughs> That's what Sorry, reminded that me. me. <laughs> um, have we taken any already this dive? No. Nope. Neat. How did that one turn out yesterday? Terrible or bad? It fell out, unfortunately. Oh. There was Roger. nothing in there. But the attempt looks great. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Valiant. Have we successfully got any push cords this cruise? We got one. Um, two. Got one? Two. Nice. Yep. to just get ahead a little bit from Atalanta and then come in for a landing. Yeah, you want to do it like now or you want to wait another seven, six and a half minutes? Uh, let's do it now. Why not? Bonk. All right. <laughs> All right. Uh, is there anything that I need to be doing? Do you nope. want simple or? Uh, I'll take this button here. Okay. Oh, it's still sandy. Neat. Why is it still sandy? Hmm. I'll clean it out Whee! a little bit. All right, grip is locked. Here we go. When it comes to put it back, I'll take sample salvo. Roger. <laughs>
Yeah, perfect. Thank you. Look at that. Look at that. Wow, you can keep going. If you That's go too awesome. far, all the way down. if you go too far, you actually disturb It'll the top. Come out the top. Yeah, there's a fine line between not enough and too much. Whoa. Nice and slow coming out. And Beautiful. fast over to the side. Sample salvo, please. Roger, nice. sample salvo. It's falling. The sky is falling. Ah, not right. Not the right thing. Come on. Can't see. Can't see anything. Oh, oh well, my. I can't do anything until I can see, so. Maybe we can like blow the sediment out of the way. <laughs> yeah, I can't see anything. Bummer. I really don't like the light positioning on the starboard side at all. Do you want me to turn them off? Oh, we could try that, yeah. Mm. Ooh. It's not better. It's not worse. Yeah, I turn it on again. Oh. I just see a critter yeah. go by. I'm gonna yeah. You're gonna give it gonna a go? Put that, uh, put that away and take another one. Okay. Do we have enough time with Atalanta? Uh, Atalanta's kind of like almost on top of us now. Perfect. Well, what I'll do eh, is screw this up a little bit and then... It's always like it gets at a really weird angle when you're trying to put it back in. Totally, yeah. That was slick. Stop that. Eh, come on. Thank you. Do you think anything stayed in there? No. I'm going to okay. get another one out just because there was some dirt toppled in the thing. And, uh, ah, come on. Okay, just what if you didn't? Uh, I need another one out, and then we'll move along before taking the sample. But then we'll try one more time. Okay. Just got a bit of a cloud when I went to put it away, which is a bummer. Okay, I'm gonna stop there. We can move the vehicle. Roger. Um, back to the ROV salvo. And woo, where are we? Do you ever do the push core samples like? to the side closer to where the starboard box is? We have done that in the past, but... Uh, it's just it's harder to see. It's hard to see, yeah. I wonder if you could like make a special push core cam that's like under <coughs> or on the side. Near yeah. The I mean, we'd need to make more slots for cameras then. More cameras, more cameras. <laughs> then we'll need a camera camera. I'm going to get a good ways in front of Atalanta. It's probably fine there. If I can't get it in the time it takes me to push core and go over to the side, then it's a fallen out anyway, so Roger. no problem.
and we have about 20 more minutes to go on bottom. So awesome. Nuggety goodness. Shrimp. <laughs> Shrimp. Just coming to inspect the work. It's a little, a little oh, white. It's very shrimp. soft. Much better than the other times, yeah. And then should I get up and go or wait for no, you? You're good. Oh, a worm coming up from the cinema cam. Middle. Can I get bubble on craft, please? I forgot to do that. Thanks. That's a crazy worm. Oh, oh nice. Oh, yeah. Nice. Lovely. Woo. All right. Excellent. And one. That was <laughs> two, one, four. Perfect. And that was in the fourth slot, the f fourth most. Got no, it. Whatever. Thank you. Um, chat wants to know if, if you, Trevor, or others have had ideas to improve the push core system. Just the lighting, honestly. Can we go back I, to ROV? Yeah. We can, we can go. Roger. Yeah, the light blows out the whole scene. It's not any good at all. Yeah, this is the only real site that's been decent sediment to grab. Everything else has been more coarse. Bleach, not. I would advocate for a better camera. Same, same, same. Yeah, uh, better camera means a whole new chassis system. Uh, I know. If the question is why, the answer is always money. Time, actually. Mm -hmm. Time is money. Don't spend it all in one place. Well, chat wants to know if anyone's ever seen a Pacific Viper fish on any of their dives. Can't say that I've ever seen one. Mm -mm. Pacific water fish? Viper. Viper. Oh. The one with the big old teethies. Mm They can be found anywhere from 200 to 5,000 meters. But at night they swim up to shallower, 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 oh my god, shallower <laughs> depths of less than 200 meters where food is more plentiful. Definitely feeling the current a little bit. Mm -hmm. yeah, what else are you feeling? Atalanta. Yeah. I'm just going to sit down and wait. Boop. Someone in the chat said they missed the dive for Herc's anniversary. What did y'all do for that? We did like a really short dive that lasted about three and a half hours. But well, we um, saw so much. Yeah, we were in a shallow depth of um, like 1,200 meters. And we saw a shark um, of some kind. And we saw a tongue fish. And it was like cucumber congregation with and the squid hundreds the squid. of cucumbers 
with the, and then there was a squid, and then there was like 68 shrimp with the buff shrimp. Crazy stuff. But that was only three hours. A lot of stuff happened in that short, short period of time. Yeah. Yeah, it did. That was very interesting that sea pens. Sea pens, yeah. The most sea pens we've seen. And don't they think that uh, didn't I used to think that that could be a new species of sea pen that we pulled from there? Possibly. Well, she said the last record was from 1902, and there are only two species within that genus. Um, so she's going to look into the literature, but it's possible. There's so many of those, like, Xeno such and such creatures. Yeah. The poop sand. Poop sand crystal creatures. creatures. Common name, poop sand crystal creatures. Oh yeah, and on the Dival Stone dive, we saw a lot of uh, what we thought was tuna on the blue water. Squids, sharks. Squids. There's a bright little white thing over here. Take a look at it. I think it's the same thing. You think it's another poop sand yeah. crystal? Yeah, you could see it in the cinema cam. Cinnamon cam. Okay. Cinnamon cam. Look at that rock coming up. Mm -hmm. <gasps> we got a rock? Ooh, yeah, we got yeah, a rock. rock. Yeah, big flat one. We got 15 minutes left. We have 13 minutes left. <laughs> Gosh, get it right. Gosh. Gosh. Rob. What is? And then we have a spongy thing yeah it's look fun. at the wake behind that thing really cool the, the clustering of rocks behind the rock is there a thing on there what is that thing on there yeah i can tell it's not sleepy because it's awake oh <laughs> there's a tiny little coral baby i think and then there's a brittle star And then another stopped thingy thing. But where are the fish? Where are the fish? I mean, at least we saw one last Chanakops. Did Jane ever get to see her Dumbo? I don't know. Jane, Doesn't if you're awake like. and listening, did you guys ever get to see your Dumbo? Can we do a zoom on this rock? <laughs> no, I didn't get to see it. Oh. <laughs> wow, that sure is a rock. Is it a little bit boitroidal? Yeah, a little bit. A bit boitroidal. A bit boitroidal. Oh, What's yeah. What's the little white squishy? Oh, hydroid. 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 Mm -hmm. Got more of your spider web, Stephanie. Why are they my spider web? That's what I heard too. Yeah, they're your spider webs. Yeah, I don't want them. I don't want them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's actually a little something in the hole. Do you see that? Like a little spriggy thingy in the hole? Like a. Right. Right. Wrong way. Right, like there. Oh, yeah. A little something, something. A little spiky something. 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 I already have downlight on. Okay, well, I guess let's zoom out. I don't know. <laughs> I don't if know. If the cinema cam was or... over like a little bit, you'd probably be able to see in the hole. Mm. Man, want to zoom? <laughs> a little bit that way. A little bit that way. Same, 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 please. Up. Away. 
I'll Keep be right back, guys. Cursor fish back. Oh, what are you? What is that? A floaty odie. Floaty odie. Is it possible to get a zoom on it? Oh, it's is it coming down? Ten cinema cam. Oh yeah, look at that. Little buddy. Oh, oh <laughs> sharp left turn. <laughs> deep. <laughs> do, do, do. Totally deep out. Yeah. Wiggling away. All right. Whoop. Turn around. Not get distracted by squiggly things. Is there anyone in front of Messi here? Lionel Messi. The soccer? Yeah. Football player? Yeah. He's now in um, Inter Miami. Like playing for Inter Miami in the US. Like he's living there or he's just visiting? No, he's playing for the, for oh, the club. Oh, yeah. he's playing. Who's he playing? What? Like who's, who's like what, what's the opposing team? No, like I mean the league um, cup, so. Oh. I think the last game the the beat oh, he's Cincinnati. For them. Yeah, he's playing for them. Yeah. Okay. Didn't they win? Yeah, they won <laughs> on penalties. Shrimp. 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 Whoa, that is a professional shrimp. Is it? Or is it just it close? Looks big. I'm gonna see if I can get the lasers on it. But I think it's just close. No, it's just close. No, I mean maybe both. Maybe a little bit of both. Okay. No more shrimp. Oh. Oh. Doink. Oh, we got like a fishy in the cinema cam. I don't yeah. know. I don't know where it yeah. is though. Oh, there it is. See its little shadow. Oh. Can we get a zoom on, on fishy? Castile? No, I think it's the uh, gauge check. The Oba or something. The grenadier? The yeah, I think it's chair. grenadier. What are we going to tell Stephanie we saw? Sperm whale. Okay. <laughs> and, um, and Dumbo. <laughs> <laughs> she missed it. <laughs> so after exact this um, last... This vessel move, I will just allow you to kind of wander around to. Mm -hmm. This is going to be our last vessel move. Okay. I'm trying not to wander too much. Like not all those who wander are lost. <laughs> be like Trevor. <laughs> oh, yeah, one sec. Let me. Uh, <laughs> Is that another uh, yes. Zeno, mm -hmm. Zeno poop crystal? Cam. Barrett? What's in the cinema cam? The um, sand poop. Uh, let me go over here now. So to set up for recovery heading, which way does Herc have to go? Which way does Atlanta have to go? Uh. Herc turns to port. Okay. How much? Uh, not a ton. Like, okay, what's our heading right now? Like, I don't know, 30 degrees or something to port. Okay. And then Atalanta turns, I don't know, what's our wrap situation? To starboard? All right. Cool. Right? Is that going to work? <laughs> uh, 
I don't know, man. <laughs> I'm asking you. Yep. I'm asking you. Yep. Uh. You got five minutes to figure it out. Yeah, because Herc, if Herc turns to port, Atalanta turns to starboard. Maybe you have corals here. Oh, look, some interesting rocks and things. A big um, professional all of Korean. Just a wall. And uh, certainly. What? Whoa. Yeah, and one last thing to Absolute do is to unit. pop a bottle. Pop a bottle, Roger. On bottom or Coral. off bottom? Do you want it on okay. bottom or off bottom? Close to the bottom. Oh my gosh, That's can we big. get a zoom? That's the biggest one we've seen. Oh. Look at those spikes on him. Absolute unit. Wow. Oh my goodness. Beautiful. That's really cool. Majestic. Why do we see yeah. all the cool stuff when I leave? Uh, number. <laughs> okay. Are we going into recovery position? No, we're going to do a Niskin and then we're, we're going to do a Niskin. Is this a good place? Do you want me to just chill here or? Yeah, if you're stable. Yeah, just okay. pop it. Yeah, I'm going to stick lock and. Okay. Oh. <laughs> now you're stable. <laughs> now I'm stable. Okay. All right, I'm going to do bubble on craft. Roger. And can you really rack the camera in all the way, please? Uh, That's the left hand. Uh, wait, there's a button for that? No, nope, on your left hand, there's a rocker. Other left. There you go. Oh my gosh, is that its poop? It could <laughs> is. be. It looks yeah. like it. Don't touch it. Ooh. 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 And then I'll take camera all the way left, please. <laughs> Wash your claw. <laughs> uh, what am I doing? This button. Is that good? Or do you want a little more? Sure, that's uh, all the way left and all the way back is, uh, is what I want. If yep. Is any Niskin taken already? We have number five and six taken. All right, I'll do four then. Oh, the cinema cam view is still pretty good. Bonk. I'm going to punch the magnum and then I'll do number four. <laughs> that made me feel better about myself somehow. <laughs> <laughs> I think that doinked. Uh, yeah, I Can we uh, turn the light off? Starboard port light, please. Okay. Yeah, it's oh, taken. Oh, wow. That's, that's better. Okay, great. You can tilt the, or whatever, uh, pan the camera right, please. And then we'll get set up uh, for recovery. Yep. Doesn't look like Paul, any butchroid on these rocks. Did you take a picture of the cinema cam? Of this cucumber? Okay. Several. Good. With the uh, cursor fish in it? Yeah. Cursor fish. Okay, let's get set up for recovery. Roger. Just gonna be weird about the tilt for a minute. Oh, now chat's calling us poop touchers. No. You're the you're the poop toucher. <laughs> you're the poop toucher. You touch the cucumber. <laughs> oh yeah, poop. That, it's me. The real poop toucher is Herc. Herc is the real poop toucher. But right. I mean, I mean all this all the sediment. It's just sediment. So. All right, I'm gonna. Make my way downtown over here. Uh, ooh. ooh. <laughs> Sorry, I need to. I need to focus. I need to focus. It's Darn, we're getting off bottom right as we get to the. And it's not nice just about pillows. heading, but it's also about stretching right out. Yep, I'm gonna go this way. Okay. <laughs> and I'm gonna go up. Once you get stretched out and we can see each other in butt cam. I'll jump back in there. Roger. Oh, Thanks. I should be coming up a lot more. Look at these pillows, right? Pillows? I'm not sure what they are. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> Every time I think I'm good with the rock identification. Well, I mean, if, if they're basalt, they're pillows, but I really can't oh, tell. No. Kind of ways to go. Oh, yeah, looks like a, it out. looks like a tube over here, over there. Yeah. Well, that was a nice sample number to end on. It's two fifteen. Nice. 
So if it's not a basalt, it's not a pillow. It, do you get my question, Rob? I said, you said you are not sure if it's a like pillow, right? So because you are not sure if it's a basalt. So if it's not a basalt, what else could it be? Probably a reef material. Is this like a oh, reef material. I see. All right, I'm just gonna come up until I can see Atalanta. Someone in the chat said, touching poop, sometimes it's important for science. There's some scientists that dedicate their whole research to poop, like um, like scat, animal scat. Scat experts, actually. I knew someone that was oh. hired to right. just spe there? specifically I don't know search what to do for now. scat of a mountain lion okay. species on an island oh, somewhere. Nice. That's a crappy job. <laughs> Cool. <laughs> kind of cool. Yeah, so we'll be holding position here. We are coming up now. Yeah. Uh, that was it, folks. The last bottom. All right, I'm coming up. Going up oh, at a uh, fish. 17 meters a minute what right now. What is that? Gotcha. Huh. Oh my gosh, the stick. Or squishy. The last bottom. Oh, bottom. Of the last dive. And then you'll never have to hear our collective voices again, except in your head whispering, boy, treoidal. <laughs> you'll dream about it every night. Boy, treoidal. <laughs> Zoom in on that squishy. <laughs> Bridge dev. Nice sheet flows. <laughs> <laughs> Come up on Delta. <laughs> Bubble cam, please. Let's do a round of introductions. <laughs> <laughs> and with that being said, let's do a round of introductions. It's been two, oh, three and a half hours-ish. Um, you said 17. Mm -hmm. I can start. We're not doing introductions, we're doing outroductions here, okay? <laughs> um, so I am Stephanie Weinger, natural science and children's book illustrator, coming to you as the uh, SCF, Science Communication Fellow for the 8 to 12 watch. Um, it's really been an honor to sit in the van with all of you guys. Oh, I'm getting emotional. Uh, oh you know, gosh. I've learned so much from every one of you about science, about rocks, about ROVs and ocean exploration, and I've really felt I've gained a lot of confidence as a communicator because of all of you. And then to all of you at home, um, I was once a chatter back in the day, chatting on the chat, and I know how you can go faster. great it feels to be a part of these expedi expeditions through a platform like Nautilus. Um, and how interactive we are with you guys. Going so like I hope you guys enjoyed um, your time sure. here with us on the okay. 8 to 12 watch. Does anyone want to go next? I'll go next. Hi, I'm Maranka Harris. I've been the data logger for the 8 to 12 watch and I've been the science manager outside of the watch. <laughs> well, not science manager, a science manager in training. Um, and it's been great to be on the Nautilus again. This is my second expedition with the Nautilus. My first one, I was an ocean science intern, and you it's been great to heading. come back mm -hmm. as contracted staff this time. Oh, um, we've had a great too. set of people on the sure. boat, and I really enjoyed my time here. Anyone else? Um, hello, everybody. I'm Paula Rodriguez. I have been part of the science team in this uh, Indian Nautilus expedition, exploring uh, biodiversity and deep sea, ancient sea mounds of uh, Johnston Atoll. And uh, it has been a pleasure to share time and knowledge with this great team of people. And I'm super grateful for the opportunity I have had here uh, to observe and learn and collect so many valid samples and 
that this was my first uh, Arobi expedition and my first expedition with the Ibn Nautilus and I'll never forget it. Thank you so much all and I hope to see you soon all, uh, around. Nice. Hello, I'm Rob McCullany. I was the 8 to 12 watch lead. Oh. I was you the geologic you. lead. <laughs> yes, <to> you. <laughs> and uh, this has been real. And it's been fun. But it hasn't been real fun. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> nice. But seriously, this is my third expedition. And it's hard to believe that each cruise gets better than the previous one. But I've been really fortunate to having great, great team around me. And uh, it's a lot of fun. You know, very uh, informative. And it's great to see that young people, the interns, learning, and progressing, and becoming the next uh, generation of explorers. That was the most beautiful thing you've said, Rob. <laughs> your, your papa. <laughs> He's got to get one in. <laughs> well, Front okay. row? Yeah, it's now our turn. Okay, yeah, I'll go. Okay. Hi, everyone. I am Elias. I am a navigator, and I'm also an ocean mapper. And, um, you know, of course, <laughs> I was part of the uh, mapping and um, navigation team. And um, I would say it's been a pleasure, like, you know, learning so much from everyone, the mapping and the navigation team, the ROV guys, the science school, the communications team, the uh, ship crew, it, like um, themselves, like, so it's been a wonderful time. I'm not sure I've missed, I missed anyone. Yeah, if I missed anyone, apologies, but you know, I learned so much from everyone. Um, this is my first time on the Nautilus, yeah, but, um, I've been like I've been working back in the industry before my graduate um, studies. So, and I would say it's a very different experience for me because this is science and um, you know exploration compared to what I compared to my background, which is really oil and gas exploration and uh, production. So, it's a very different experience. And again, I broke my record um, of um, my deepest working depth, which was um, 2,000 meters like with um, ROV, so I walked um, 3,200 um, 3, uh, 3, meters about and uh, mapped up to 6,000 meters. So it's, it's, a, it's an incredible experience for me and um, yeah, I'm not going to forget it. And um, also it's great seeing um, you know, the interplay between biology and geology. It's, it's like I was really stunned with all the cool stuff like we, we saw. So, yeah, and again, I learned so much for like, you know, now I think I'm a better biology student like <laughs> compared to the, to the past. And also like, you know, I understand geology better now. So hopefully like, you know, this, um, I hope this gets better. So I look forward to coming back, you know, doing more of this and them. Um, so thank you so much, guys. It's been a pleasure. Very nice. Nice. Uh, Trevor, Herc, <laughs> out. <laughs> um. <laughs> no, no, no. You're just going to leave. Yeah. You no. can't do better. <laughs> yeah. We'll sit out. I can't. <laughs> we, 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 call, we call that an Irish exit. <laughs> yeah. No, that would have been if he hadn't said anything. <laughs> Uh, Perfect. No, it's not. Yeah, I don't know. It's a good team out here, everybody. Um, thankful for the ROV team putting in a lot of hard work to get through a bunch of technical issues and ending on a high note, ending on a dive. It's a great way to end a cruise, a uh, successful dive. So, yeah, thanks for everyone for all the hard work and successful science -y things. Okay. Um, hey, everybody. Uh, I'm Annabelle. Um, we haven't already figured that out. Um, 
I am the Atalanta pilot and the ROV intern, and it's really been amazing uh, being the ROV intern here and having this opportunity to work uh, in like piloting situations and work on deck. Um, it's really been great. Like I've, I've been able to see and help service like all different parts of the ROV and I think just even being able to just get my hands dirty and, and work and work with it um, has been really, really great. Um, I'm super, super grateful for this opportunity and yeah, I want to come back, please. <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah, it's like the cruise is ending, but I'm like, okay, but maybe I could go for longer. Like, yeah, I don't right? know. Like, um, yeah, um, I'm really grateful for Trevor and the ROV team, um, who are all very, very awesome and great mentors, but especially Trevor for teaching me how to pilot. Thank you. Um, you, you you're a really, really great teacher and, uh, I learned so, so much, uh, yeah, about piloting and about the RVs in general. Um, yeah, I, I guess I'm just really grateful for this opportunity and I'm gonna stop talking now before <laughs> I get really emotional and start crying. <laughs> so, well, I, I thank really you. hope you come back. I really hope to see you next week. I hope I come back too. <laughs> Ooh. 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 <laughs> Go Beavs. Wait, wait, I forgot. Go Beavs. <laughs> How about something in Coastal Salish? Oh yeah, uh, I could say that in Coastal Salish. Uh, the whole thing. <laughs> uh, Start over. I, I could do most of it. Hi, um, um It's Squile, Annabelle Baker, Cinesnat. Um, Yatsun, Alfalsa, it's ROV Atalanta. Um, Uh, La at uh, Evie Nautilus Cruise, um, Eat Lesson, Ngan, uh, 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 it's a ROV, um, Heishk, uh, CM, uh, yeah, uh, Nat, uh, at yeah, Chen, uh, Chen Tak, uh, uh, Trevor, um, <laughs> uh, Helix Sun, uh, Anak Tadjal, Atik Ayas, uh, Evie Nautilus, uh, Pacific Ocean, at Al Falsa, Aishk, uh, Ling Nuxen Sat. It's pretty much the same thing. All right. <laughs> Amazing. Nice. Cool. That leaves me. Yeah. Dave Robertson, lead video engineer. Uh, this is my 16th expedition on Nautilus. Um, I've worked with a lot of different groups, uh, a lot of different crews, uh, working on uh, a watch uh, and uh, with a group of people. Uh, and it doesn't always come together. A lot of times it's just like get her done and uh, there's not so much of the social aspect uh, of it, uh, that kind of stuff. It takes the right group. Sometimes it doesn't gel, sometimes it does, and when it does, it's great. And uh, this group has been great to work with, very entertaining, puzzling at times. <laughs> <laughs> Rob and We're I, puzzling through the whole hurricane. Rob and I being the old guys, uh, the, the cultural references uh, for us are, are uh, confusing sometimes but that's okay our cultural references are confusing to the younger uh, group as well so uh, and that's fine uh, I've been out uh, with Rob uh, all three times he's been out uh, and we've been on uh, we've been on watch together uh, and I really enjoy uh, working with him I'm a geology uh, fan fanboy I like uh, I like rocks and uh, but I've learned more about biology uh, as, as I go learn more about corals and that kind of stuff, which I never thought I would. Um, the great thing about 
this cruise has been uh, the emphasis on squat lobsters. Mm -hmm. In the past, <laughs> we were always surveying corals. And we would zoom in on corals and we'd be like, here's an aritic gorgia, and it's got a this and it's got a that on a squat lobster. And then, you know, moving on and that kind of stuff. And I was always like, okay, are they crabs? What are they? They're, you know, they look like crabs, but they're not. They like lobsters, but they're not. That kind of stuff. I've learned more about squat lobsters, so thank you, Paula. Oh, thank you. So Ray. much for, uh, for the new education. Uh, it's always uh, good. And I'll be back out here in a month uh, to do this all over again. Nice. nice. I'd really like to thank, in, in uh, closing, I'd like to thank the person that returned my sock. <laughs> <laughs> I lost a sock uh, on laundry day, and a week later it showed up uh, back in the laundry room. And nice. Appreciate whoever it was that returned my sock. That's it. Beautiful. Glad you got your sock back. Yeah. I actually found a sock that was not my sock under my mattress. Okay. Oh. If anyone from a previous cruise is missing a sock <laughs> that was in cabin 50, it's under the mattress. It's still there? Yeah, I left it. Oh. It's like a man's sock. Um, <laughs> That's very funny. Um, a, a beautiful message from chat. They say, 8 to 12 rules, going to miss all of you, and the wonderful antics, laughter, joking around, and learning, and the ahs and oohs has just been an incredible time spending with you and looking forward to gather again. Best from Vermont. Safe travels back to the island uh, and get some rest and sleep. Keep the sun on your face and the wind at your back. Poetic. Yeah, that's beautiful. I yeah, like that. Thanks, sun on your face. Thank you, chat. Your back. Thank you. Now what? <coughs> we got Thank 30. you, chat. Yeah. We'll miss you, Chad. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All you beautiful If you were a lobster. <laughs> <laughs> Would you rather have lobster killer as feet and, what? <laughs> and tail fan as hands? Would you rather, if you were a squat lobster, <laughs> would you rather oh. have nice, awesome, uh, claws the length of your legs, legs, <laughs> or legs the length of your claws? Oh. If you were a squat lobster, would you rather be human or a squat lobster? If you were a squat <laughs> lobster. Squat so, like, lobster. from your perspective as a squat lobster. Exactly, yeah. Yeah. Um, I think I'd want to remain a squat. Oh. Humans have too many problems. But cuskiels exist. Yeah, that's okay, though. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> no! <laughs> that's not a problem until it is, you know? Yeah, and matter. I mean, like, you just get a nice sponge. The the foolish people on the surface will be too busy fighting the ten cuskills to really, you know, <laughs> deal with. <laughs> They'll have those cuskills occupied. If you were a lobster, and <laughs> your lobster wife told you that she saw like this huge giant horrible lobster that like floated down and had like inconceivably bright lights and sucked up your cousin larry would you believe her i'd larry send her lobster. to the lobster lulu bin Lo <laughs> loony bin <laughs> would you rather be a holothurian or a coral holothurian holothurian, oh, holothurian. Why? Be a cuke. You flop around in the water? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You'd be so good at smelling things. I, I, I know this is going to break some people's hearts, but I'm not, like, too big of a fan of corals. <gasps> they just oh. sit there. Don't let Steve Don't hear let you. Steve hear uh, you. Steve's don't definitely listening. Oh, Steve, cover your ears, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> They're beautiful. Don't It'll get me okay. wrong. They're beautiful, but I don't know. Like, 
I, I like, I, I, maybe I just don't know enough about them. We're on K-Cam. We're on K-Cam? Yep. Oh. Oh, oh we're on K-Cam. <laughs> oh, hi, Maronke. <laughs> you thought you were hidden. I know, I didn't know I could ever be on camera. Hello. <laughs> it's just Maronke. Data logger position is, uh, is the hardest shot to get in the whole van. Uh, the the two nice. people that you rarely ever see on camera are the video uh, engineer, and that's by design, and, <laughs> and the data logger, which is unfortunate. So I uh, thought we'd uh, feature Maronke here. Oh, on, thank uh, you, Dave. That camera three. So if I take this camera, you're way back in the corner there by the door and blocked by other people and that kind of stuff. So. That was just in case that, uh, you know, somebody was watching that wanted to see you. Thanks, I appreciate it. All the Maronke fans. <laughs> Maybe your um, Instagram followers are watching. What is your Instagram? Oh, My Instagram is. <laughs> is imaginative size. So the word imaginative and then SCI. It's my SciComm account. It's the imaginative scientist. And I have to say that Maronke is awesome in science communication as well. Thank yeah. you. Oh yeah, it's so many it. It's really good, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, someone in the chat said, if I had known about seafloor mapping when I was in school learning GIS, my life would have taken a completely different turn. Thank you all for allowing us to enjoy what's in the ocean from the comfort of our homes. Um, love, Diana and Fresno. You know, it's never too late. Diana, mm -hmm. you can go into seafloor mapping. In fact, we have an internship. That's true. We've had some people come out that are relatively new to seafloor mapping that are um, not in their 20s. Let's just say that. Yeah. So, and, and that's fine. You start at any time in life. I also feel like we always need the seafloor mappers because no matter what expedition we're doing, when we're transiting, we map. Yeah. Not every expedition has. And GIS yeah, is very cool. It's like close. It's very close to like mapping too. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Don't give up, Diana. You can do anything you put your mind to. <laughs> <laughs> but but what happens in 2030 when it's all mapped? <laughs> That's why we need all the interns. Yeah. We're not yeah. going to get it done by 2030. If yeah, we even don't if, have all even the interns. if we get it done, like we still continue to map because the seafloor will change, you know. Oh. Yeah. And higher resolution, maybe. Yeah. Or we just send yeah. all of the seafloor mappers into space. Like we send them <laughs> into space. <laughs> Why? <laughs> I don't know. So they can do stuff out there. <laughs> no. no. I, want, I know this uh, wind farms project going on too. Like you know, they keep you need to continue to uh, continue to monitor them. So right. Yeah. So we still keep so. So don't worry. Come in. We need more people. <laughs> Can you slow down just a little bit, please? Roger. And, and there's also similarly water column mapping, too. Yeah, that's another one. That's where a big big part of the peel is going to end up going. What? Yeah, what yeah we don't have so much now going on. That? Well, you, you can actually, with different frequencies, you know, map where uh, critters are, whether they be fish, like your fish finder on your boats, yeah. or plankton, or methane seeps. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that's why we have the EK80 here. Like it's a split beam um, echo sounder, so just to mm -hmm. kind of characterize what's in the water column, like you know, um, school of um, fish and all that sort of kind of stuff. So. Cool. And the water column changes much faster than the sea floor, yeah. so I'd say job you get security. All the, uh, all the subsurface currents as well, probably. And all you, that model cur uh, update current models. You, you, you might be able to do that. I mean, they they tried to do that with some multi-channel seismics previously. I'm not sure where that is, but. Steve Holbrook was able to do that with some uh, mapping. They could actually see different layers in the ocean. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, like in the water column? Yeah. Yeah, I, yeah, I think so. Um, uh, differently, uh, yeah, there is someone that was also doing something that is similar to that at Seacom. Yeah. Yeah, we have um, Tom Weber. Uh, oh, okay, I know Tom. He's very good at it. Yeah. Yeah, but he left now, though. Oh, he did? Yeah. I think he now works with um, Office of Nava Research. Oh, ONR? Yeah, right now. Yeah.
Um, before we all do a watch change, uh, I want to get like a picture of us in the van, like maybe like selfie style, like I'll turn around and you guys will, if that's okay with the ROV people in the front. Uh. And then Dave will kind of have to scooch in if he can. I saw that head tilt. <laughs> I won't show up on the picture, though. No. <laughs> Are you a vampire? Like a Partly. Vampire. That's creepy. <laughs> the video vampire. Let's try a let's try a selfie. <laughs> I'm gonna stand up. Oh my God, Jerry! <laughs> oh, no. He's possessed. I think the front wheel can sit on. Ready? Whoa. No, can everybody I might not get be able to it? get oh, a good. Yet. One second, I'll come to the front. Can you get me? I think, yeah. Dave's like a little bit out of shot. And is Annabelle in there? Ah. Let me know when you're ready, I'll turn around. All right. Am I in shot now? Yeah, ready? Oh, the boat's moving. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we got some blurry selfies. <laughs> Thank you all. Yeah. yeah. You're all just a blur of eyeballs and, and smiles. <laughs> oh, but no. it's the memory that counts. <laughs> a blur of eyeballs and smiles. That sums up this watch. <laughs> can you? We're hey, doing a front hey, row. And squishies. I can send it to you. Give me, give me a second. If yeah, Baco, do you want to join these two? I think this is also a good view. Oh, yeah. Am I in it? Yeah, you mm. are. Um, can I see more? Okay, okay yeah, now you are you. <laughs> the Brocky's in her okay. head at the side. Nice. One more? Yeah, beautiful. All right, now we all got to airdrop it to each other. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Just post it I up to the... Uh, to yeah, to, um, the, to the group side. drive. The yeah, Google Drive, drive I'll yeah. put it on the, the top side images. But I drop I'll anyway. drop it to you right now, Paula. Sorry, all you Android users. What? Oh, yeah, I'll do that too. And I'll put it, I'll put it everywhere. Everywhere. <laughs> I'll print it out and, and Just uh, wallpaper. tape it. Wallpaper it to the ship. <laughs> Yeah, I can just um, drop them to you so that you can share them. Sort of all of us going there. Yeah, it's super blurry, but that's yeah, okay. I th yeah, let's see this. I think Elias's look like they would come out. Good yeah, way. I think so. Where are you putting yours, Elias? Um, okay, I see Paula, Stephanie's. Who is um, EO Interaction? Um, EO Interaction is like the ship phone. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. Who's It's a Me? Oh, that's um. Yeah, so. It's a Me is. Ding. Annabelle, isn't it? Oh, the Elias's one is good. Oh, that's a cute picture. Can you send me Elias's as well? Yes, let me do that right now. Thank you. I haven't received yours, Elias. Oh, okay, yeah, stand by one. Oh, I see Paula, I see you Thank playback. You. This is the struggle of having a Google phone in a world of no. iPhones. <laughs> 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 We're on okay. game. I'm a trendsetter. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. <laughs> hey. Hey. Okay, 8 to 12, we're heading out. We're gonna, check, right. we're gonna check that box. Check. Uh, check that box, we're done. 
What else and, can you put on the screen? And we're heading here. Oh. Uh, <laughs> to the island where Castaway heading. happened? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> with, the, with, the, with the Wilson? Yep. Someone on the chat said perhaps the most impressive is that you guys have cell servers out here. We don't, but we have the Wi-Fi through telepresence technology. Telepresence. So I, I've been on airplane mode for a month. It's a long flight. Mm-hmm. My legs are cramped. <laughs> we didn't write anything down, Michael. We didn't write a thing down. Someone did. Mm hmm. Oh, uh, they were operating at negative half. And Hello. Yeah. There we go. I should probably update the status to we are ascending. Which one? You don't you're not on SPL. Should we pull all the Niskins? Just for fun? Just for practice?
right there, bud? Because of what? I think we are changing watches now, everybody. We're ascending our vehicles. We're oh, at really? uh, 1,320 meters. And no, it it's kind of like should take he made his own little bossy. His own little a group. little over an hour to ascend to the top. So, um, again, thank you, chat, for a great expedition. All of you at home, it was nice guys, talking uh, to you. Um, and goodbye. Oh. Goodbye forever. Yes. Until I maybe come again. I'm gonna slow down on the on the. I want to uh, I want to get back in a better position. I don't like where this is. I know we're really deep still, but. After all that self-congratulation last night, mm. here we are. <sighs> it it wouldn't. It, is that it? It's all full circle, you know. Yeah. We started so, with blue water. It only makes sense to end blue. That, if it starts with blue water, it has to end with blue water. That's how dives work. You know why should why shouldn't the cruise? We said all our good stuff, yes. Yeah. <laughs> you haven't had too much blue water, have you? We, we did in the middle, mid cruise. We had a, a yeah. long stretch of we've it. Had, we've had the most blue water. I yeah. don't know if that's the case anymore. I think 8 to 12 may have. But they also have 8 to 12 watch, which is a nice thing for them. Yeah, they can sleep at regular times. And they seem to always see the coolest stuff right after we get off. So, <laughs> Oh, no, that's 4 to 8. That's 4 to 8. Did they win the contest? What contest? The Dumbo Are Octopus you contest? Yeah. Yeah, well, I certainly lost. We'll put it yeah, that way. Yeah, Yes, I am. Oh, Elias, <laughs> I still have one of the, uh, the enemies here. Oh, straggler. <laughs> yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm spying on you guys. <laughs> I didn't see Lynette. I wonder if she was assuming. Yeah, <laughs> maybe. Yeah, we need to get you some food. Yeah, I'll was, I was just do stand by and see. That's my job as watch leader, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> I guess. I could sit now. No, good. <laughs> you like staying? Uh, no, I mean, I would just stand by for... Does like that mean deep. I get to be watch lead? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> I can log vehicles on deck. It's just a click That's pretty button, much right? what I'm doing here anyway. <laughs> <laughs> you know what would be cool if we saw a Dumbo Octopus in the water column that right now? That would be cool. Everyone's saying goodbye to us on, on the chat. Yeah, can you read some of the messages? He, he was making it up. No, <laughs> no uh, one's saying anything. Goodbye, goodbye, good luck to all. Perhaps the most impressive is you guys have cell service out there. Oh, no, we don't. <laughs> it's Wi Fi. So we what? We have Wi Fi. Yeah, Wi Fi. <laughs> yeah, Wi Fi. Wi Fi calling. Yep, exactly. We make I our own cell service here. with our satellite. This one from Lisa thank wanted to say thank you for all the wonderful and amazing times. So she's pretty happy. Thanks and bye, everyone. I love Nautilus. This has my, been my favorite expedition this year. Oh. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs>
feel like some of these might, might have been help. meant for the watch before ours, too, so we shouldn't uh, get no, too yeah. rocky. Nope, nope. Nope, they're from, nope. No. we're here. So. We're here. That's a little right. jelly. We take it. Our credit. Your walks. I think uh, a lot of audience likes the blue water because it's a lot of uh, banter and jokes and stuff, right? Yeah. Yeah, you got some jokes for Me? us? Yeah. No, not really. I'm not a I'm not really a good joke person. Sorry. Uh, we do have a comedian on on watch with us it's though. That's true. Is <laughs> that Marble House or something? Is that gelatinous? Whatever it is? Yes. It's for sure. Zoom in. No, too late. Oh, no, we're, it's okay. uh, we're past it. She got the memo. Was that a Tina for? I don't know. I just said a gelatinous mass. It's like a larval house. Yeah, it could Not have been a larvation really or something. But it didn't really look like that either. It just kind of seemed like a mucus sea yeah. web. We should have had a. Um, no worries. We should have what's her name draw like a picture uh, of a whale off in the distance, and then Hello. we could throw it off yeah, overboard. You I know, love that. on a fishing line. Yeah, on a fishing line. Like, oh, do you guys see that in the corner? Look at that. It's a whale. I love that idea. <laughs> oh, that's so magical. We just put a graphic on and be like, push the button, and then a whale swims by. Yeah. Oh my God. It's like with a smile. It's definitely not a drawing. Definitely and not. Button one. It is, and it's blowing water out torpedo. of the. <laughs> it's blowing water out of the blowhole. Bye, Elias. In the graphic. <laughs> Underwater, for somebody. Enjoying a nice lunch down there. Sorry, you know. everyone. I was leisurely finishing my lunch, and Jane said, I'll see you up there, and I didn't realize <laughs> that I need to come back up here. <laughs> yeah, it's a little, really, I think we're all a little bit discombobulated this morning. I'm I certainly like, was. I already said goodbye. I didn't know. I know. <laughs> and well, I got a bonus couple hours. Yeah, this will be fun. My name is Ashley Glickley, Science Communication Fellow on our 12 to 4 watch and we are recovering our vehicles from our last dive of this expedition. Should we do introductions? Sure. Hi everyone, I'm Dwight Coleman. Uh, I'm the watch le uh, the expedition leader on this project and from the great state of Rhode Island. I like Rhode Island too. I'm also from Rhode Island. I'm Jane Carrick. I'm the data logger. Um, happy to be here. And I study deep sea corals. Front row. Hello, my name is uh, Panos Rotos. I'm not from Rhode Island, but I'm very happy to be here. I'm the video engineer. For the they take the sample log, probably. Yeah. Uh, my name is Michael Valle. I am a, the Atlanta pilot, PhD student out of UCLA. Oh, uh, yeah. That's and they. Uh, and uh, a one-year uncle as of today. Aww. Yay. Right. Yeah. My, my, su my surprise niece's birthday. Aww. Today. I bet she's adorable. Eh. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> she's all right. <laughs> oh, my sister's going to kill me. Hi, everybody. My name is James Burnett. I am the Herc pilot for this last shift of ours. It's kind of sad. Aww. Yeah. 